The latest episode of The Ugly Truth is brought to you by lipandclip.com. It's time for self-care, everybody. Super affordable from masks to cleaning products to cosmetics, a lot of skincare products that we all use every day. Check it out, lipandclip.com. Thanks for supporting The Uggs. Enjoy the show. Welcome to The Ugly Truth. This is episode 500. It, you guys, I'm gonna treat it and do it like a Mariah Carey UG. Uh, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I can't even get that. <laughs> God, you're good. Who does it though, Stephanie? Or she can hit the note, I cannot, and I have tried I forever to hit that high note, and I cannot. My voice just doesn't go that high. It is episode 500, and I want to congr- congratulate ourselves. Congrats, because, congratulate, because we have traditionally um, our family, our sisterhood, we generally lose interest fairly quickly in things, and we have not yet lost interest in the podcast, and we're at 500 episodes going strong, I should say. Just so, don't tell uh, me how long it's been, because then I'll be like, oh my God. <laughs> You're like, can we be dead now? This is a it's an it's an accomplishment personally for us because if you do podcast or if you listen, you know that it can be a grind sometimes, and we haven't given up. And I think that's to me that's something to be celebrated. Um, mm-hmm. But we also want to say thank you to the listeners who have continually listened. Nobody's not listening, which is amazing. We I appreciate the downloads. I don't know about you, Paula, but. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, this is a uh, more of a, I don't want to even call it a labor of love, but I mean, it's, oh, uh, I think it is. It's just something we do, you know, we're not making a million dollars. We're not, I don't even know if we're making dollars, but I mean, it's just <laughs> something that we do for fun yeah. and something because we enjoy it and we know our listeners enjoy it. Yeah. So that's really what it's about. Yes, and, um, exactly. And we appreciate that, you know, we get the feedback that we do or the emails or, you know, mm-hmm. people just doing the little random things that they do. And it's fun for us. So I love it, especially although I don't love Trip trying to gross us out every week with his yeah, leg hand photos. Gross toenails and feet <laughs> pictures. I appreciate that. But no, actually, I, I would feel sad if he didn't because then I'd be like, are you not listening anymore? Trip? Please send us just one gross photo. Let us know. A sign of life. <laughs> so on that note, we decided we don't expect it to be anything other than something available for the listeners and for us because, you know, we like to have things. We have launched a merchandise website mm-hmm. and it has many options because I need many options. Years ago, I realized this when I when we created the store years ago, Paula had designed the mug that we have. I think I got it for Christmas. You know, many hoodies and different colors and we have two different logos. All of that is there. Paula's designed mug. The sticker that a lot of you received is there. I'm looking forward to the hoodie and there's lots of T-shirts that say awkward on it. There's a lot of really cool stuff. Oh, my God, my throat. There's a lot of really cool stuff on there. So if you go to (laughs) what do you do? I'm all shut up. I sound like a parrot. (laughs) (laughs) Give me one a cracker. (laughs) I always, whenever I do that, I think of Allison. Why is that? (laughs) A bird? Yeah, when I make because she had a haircut that made her look like a bird for a long time. Maybe. (laughs) I remember one time our stepmom got a haircut and dad came home. He's like, What have you done? He's all, You look like an owl. (laughs) (laughs) She did. And she's like, you don't like it? He's like, no. He's like, don't ever do that again. He's like, obviously you can't grow up back. I guess we'll just have God. to deal with it. God. Can you imagine? Oh, How, no. But I mean, you know, that was so mean. It was oh, actually, you know, it was funny when he was being mean to somebody else. Oh, Not God, like it was one hilarious. of us, but oh, God. I guess when it was just being mean to her, it was when funny When he was being to mean us, to our cause... stepmom, we were just like, oh, thank fucking God. Yes, she's, her- she's horribly. <laughs> she's so ugly. Come on in, come on in. <laughs> and it's like go dad go dad yeah and then he would look at one of us and we're like oh. what are you looking at it's like oh fuck <laughs> it's horrible don't laugh at your stepmom that's disrespectful we're like oh, oh, yeah. and the fun is over and, and it's over yeah exactly and scene. <laughs> anyway so if you go to uglytruth.com our website you'll see a new tab that says merch and you can click on that and you can see and my guess is that we'll be changing up designs or adding stuff as we get more comfortable with the site but hopefully you will find something that will and of course it supports the uggs and hopefully you will enjoy 
those things and we would appreciate you at least checking it out. That'd be awesome. But that's in honor of 500. We thought we'd add something new. I guess we're going to try to do some videos. <laughs> so Yeah, you know, I was going to talk to you about that. I'm like, I don't, I don't even know if we're going to know how that works. So <laughs> I don't know if you really want to do that or if you just want to like wait it out. Or... I would rather get a root canal <laughs> personally. Well, I just, until we can figure out how to do it, maybe we should just not I just want to do it so... right. I don't want to just, I mean, I can throw up my phone and say, hey, you know, this is Jamie and blah, blah, blah. And you can do that too. The only way I was thinking I could do it is if I downloaded it to like YouTube and then we shared the link. But we tried to do that at last time and it didn't freaking work. I don't see that's the thing. We are not. Yeah, the last time that happened, Victor accidentally uploaded a video of him and Olivia (laughs) making cookies and then (laughs) and I lost my shit. I know I got slayed. First of all, I feel really bad about all of that. But I was very sensitive back then about Olivia being on anything public. And then I I just remember getting a slew of, you know, everything. And I'm like, what? I'm like, what did you do? And he's like, what? I'm like, why is Olivia? Why are you and Olivia making cookies on the Ugly Truth website? Why is Olivia on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, that was that was kind of funny, actually. It, but... Well, now it's funny now that I actually know. But I was so tech brain damaged yeah, I, I that I it. just <laughs> didn't know. So anyway, maybe we'll do the video thing. I would rather do it when we have it done right. And so and plus, you know, no one even fucking watches that stuff. I never watch podcast YouTube shit. So whatever. I mean, maybe. Yeah, but you you listen to podcasts. A lot of people watch influencers. I'm not. We're not influencing anything. That's what podcasters are. I- <laughs> What? Please I think, tell me. I don't know. Please tell me who, what we're influencing. I love what it reinstituting and and taking back the word cunt. <laughs> I mean, what no, else? I'm just saying that's what people <laughs> who are on Instagram and YouTube they're right. called influencers. I'm not well, saying we're influencing anything. I'm just saying we're just <laughs> that's what they they're labeled. You know, all the gen the new generations or the millennials or whatever the fuck they're called. <laughs> they have to label everything. So yeah. Well, I am. I don't know what I then. I don't know what we are. I don't think we fit into, we've never fit into anything. They don't know what to do with us. So you can't put us in a box, but you can put something in our box. There you go. Please. (laughs) Yeah, for real. (laughs) Please. You know what I actually know what happened to me? And we're going to go into our next discussion about penises. But um, every time, and I know this is not an uncommon, and most women, anybody actually, if you're in a relationship, you shower before you go to bed because you're like, I didn't shower today. And so you get in bed and you're like, oh, I'm nice and clean and the sheets are clean. It feels so good. And sure as shit. You do that? Sometimes. Only, yes, because sometimes I just go, why didn't I shower today? And I feel kind of gross. Sometimes I don't, but sometimes I do. And so. Um, well, you know, I don't sleep with anyone. So I just roll in and it's just me and Pablo. So it's just like, <laughs> he didn't shower before bed. Why should I? Pablo does not care. Um, but anyway, I'm just, no, it's not for, it's not for anybody else other than myself. And I'm like, oh, I just, if I don't feel good, like if I didn't shave under my arms or something, I kind of can't get comfortable. So anyway, but every time I get into bed and I've done that, Daryl's like, well, hello there, miss lady. And I'm like, what? I'm tired. Hey, Jamie, you're clean and naked. What do you expect? <laughs> I expect to be able to go to sleep clean and naked. That's what I expect. Well, okay. Here's my question. I okay I'm of the age where it's just like if I had a naked man in my bed every night that I liked a lot I don't understand why I couldn't have sex with him at night and then have sex with him in the morning yeah why 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 can't you who's saying I don't I'm just saying why why would you fight it though because I'm sore and maybe I don't want to have sex one night okay I'm just saying you need a break why don't you get that button and (laughs) Did you see that button? No, no, you weren't watching it. Okay, so Shark Tank, Shark Tank, this couple invented a button. Each On each nightstand, each couple had a button. And so they would hit their button if they were game for sex that night. And then the other couple, the other spouse or person, if they were game for sex, they would hit their button as well. So if they both started flashing green, then they knew that each other were up for sex. If... The other person didn't hit their button and then the other person's button like didn't flash green or never like did anything. Then they would know, Okay, that person never responded. And so it was like it was a way of saying like, hey, are you up for sex? And so instead of actually communicating with your lover, you just do a button. Well, some people have a hard time with that, you know, because a lot of people struggle with. I've been with people who really struggle with asking for sex. 
And oh. so, well, well, cause they view it as asking for sex and I'm just right. like, it's, it doesn't have to be asking for a sex. It's just be like, Hey, you want to you know, fool around or whatever. And I'm just like, you're not like some other people feel like, you know, they're being total dogs and being like, yeah. Hey, you want to, you know, can I, I put understand. it in you? And I'm just like, even if someone said, Hey, can I put it in you? If I would be like, yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, it's just you like, know what? I, yeah. The thing is I rarely say no to Daryl. Rare. Rarely say absolutely not. No, I can't. I can count mm-hmm. on one hand that, that that when that's happened, but I can't fathom needing a, a button but you know what you're right if there are people well, who the, are none struggle- of the sharks bought it but well you know they thought it was a dumb idea but i mean <laughs> i but i thought i'm like you know that that probably would work for some couples though where I think they would right. prefer to have a button and and see like so that way no one's feeling rejected because the other thing too is, is if you hit your button your partner doesn't know that you hit your button well, they how- only know that if they're in the mood, they'll hit their button. And if it's never reciprocated, like if the other partner isn't in the mood and they don't hit their button, they don't know that the other person hit their button. Wait a minute. So where are these? They're just sitting on your nightstand? Yes. Well, then so how, the how would only, the other person not see the button? It only flashes green mm-hmm. when both have hit their buttons. Oh, I see. I see. Well, you know, the guy's always going to hit the button. Like he's never not, not going to hit the button. No, there's guys out there who don't always want sex. Trust me. I've had a guy refuse me and give his dogs a flea dip. Yeah, but so, that was, well, you're right. You're right. When you're right, you're right. So yeah, this is, I think this is a really dumb idea, but I do understand why someone would think there's a need for it because if there is a, a communication issue, then this would be, maybe it would open the door to. We live in a society where everyone texts. You're right. People talk. Right. So. I well, mean, that is true. I, I, I thought it was had. I thought it was a good idea. It has. I think the problem they had with it. It was like sixty bucks though, and I'm just like sixty bucks. I'm like, just text <laughs> them then and be like, hey, you want to fuck? And they're yeah. Just like, no. Send them an eggplant or a peach. and they send them an emoji with a sad face. Mew. Yeah. <laughs> or a big red dot. I don't know. Or they send them, you know, the one hundred with the underline. You know, right. 100. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Speaking of sex, you had mentioned something that you had read something about uh, the penis being and men who are growers or showers. I don't know what you read, but I did have to, I had to really make sure I knew what I was, because I think I knew what a grower or a shower was. And so I had to, but I wanted to make sure a grower is when a penis gets much longer after being flaccid to being erect. Yes. And a shower means there's no change. It is what it is, whether it's flaccid or erect. You get what you, you see, what you get. For the most part, yes. Yes. So basically, what happened was, is there's this YouTube channel. I think it's called All the Feels, is what it's called. Okay. And so this particular episode, they were talking. About, it's only like like a five minute, you know, YouTube show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's two girls and two guys, and they're talking about the difference between growers and showers, and. Personally, I'm 41 years old and I did not know. I've, I've always heard the term, but I didn't really understand what that meant. Exactly. This is how I've always felt. I, I, obviously, I've been in committed relationships. So I, I've been in situations where I've I've caught glimpses of a flaccid penis. But I've always been in the, the mentality and I don't know what made me think this, but I've never wanted to make a man feel like exposed to like where he's just walking around flaccid or like I'm staring at him flaccid because I just kind of felt like that was demeaning I don't know why I felt that way so like the times that like if they're getting out of the shower they're getting dressed I'm like trying not to stare at them because I just feel like I don't know it's feel like it's me them watching me you know put on feminine products or something like that (laughs) so I just I did I wanted to give them like their space yeah I I understand so most of the time when I see a wiener, it's it's usually erect. And so yeah. I don't know the means that it gets there. You know, I just and that was the other question. They're like, do girls get turned on by watching a man go from flaccid to erect? And no. I'm just like, no. But these girls are just like, yeah, I did that. And I'm just really? like, OK, I'm like, no, you didn't. I'm like, the wind could blow and do that. So don't feel <laughs> special. Yeah, don't feel like this is an honor. And I'm like, no, I I said, no, women don't think that way. And most of the time I'm like, you know, you could blow in their ear and get them erect or you can just say the word sex and get them erect or you can say anything and get them erect. I guess. And especially if you said, hey, can you get naked and lay down and I want to watch your penis go from flaccid to erect? It would be too late. 
By the time they got her clothes off, well, and that's what one guy, the one guy said, he's like, he's like, if there's just the hint of the idea of possibly having sex, he's like, my penis is going to be hard before my clothes even come off. So he said 22% of men are showers. And what that means is their penis is the size that it is. And Mm. it's not going to grow more than maybe like a quarter inch when it gets hard. And the only difference is, is that it just gets hard. Right. But it's the size that it is. And I'm just like, that is fascinating i have like, never I, seen that but the thing is is i don't know if i've ever seen that well because how would i know because most of the penises that i've seen they're already hard and the thing is is i don't understand there's no offense to it by the way when somebody goes hey i'm a grower not a shower and i'm like well who's a shower i mean it would look weird to me wouldn't it look like you were just blowing up a balloon if it was if they were if they were showers that's weird i've never seen a flaccid elephant trunk in my life but that's the other thing too is I don't I don't I can't probably count on like less on one hand but like less than five how many flaccid penises I've seen in my life, like maybe three. Yeah, well the the uh, the uh, myriad of penises that I've had the pleasure of staring at for one reason or another mostly are mostly flaccid, not in my presence. However, the ones that I've seen regularly, which is the one, <laughs> is. He's a grower. He has to be. I mean, and that's why they said only 22% are showers. Yeah. The rest are growers, which I just assumed they were all growers. I'm just like, I I mean, that makes sense to me. I'm like, why wouldn't it? I mean, who would want to walk around with a, you know, a six inch dong flapping around around like a piece of skin, just laying around like a noodle. That kind of makes sense because when we would watch the UFC Mm weigh-ins, like we would see these guys and you could definitely tell they were packing heat in their panties (laughs) and, but maybe they were just showers and yeah, like maybe that's all they had. But wouldn't you just, which I mean, actually it was, it would have been all right, but I mean, wouldn't it just be like a little pile of skin all stuffed into a (laughs) Little They're thing. probably the ones that can do like penis shows, like penis puppet shows and make like snails and, you know. Cause penis. They're probably the, no, you know. They're the ones that dress up. There was an original, like, I think it was called penis puppet shows. Hold penis on. puppet shows? What channel was this? Is this on Netflix? I want to say I saw this on Puppetry of the Penis. <laughs> Puppetry of the Penis is a performance show. Where do you see uh, the show? Penis. Do you think the they use showers Aust- oh, or growers? Australian. The ancient Australian art of genital origami. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. What? <laughs> no! <laughs> click to enable flasher. How do I do that? Look, I'm a snake. Oh, I have to click Look, this. Look, I'm a worm. What else I allow is there? It, whatever it is, I allow it. <laughs> what What in the world can you do? Look, I'm a, I'm a bird in the sky. Oh, like this website's pretty kick-ass. Puppetry, pe- penis of, wait, puppetry of the okay, penis. Okay, gallery, gallery, gallery. Just do like two. Wait, it's got music. I don't want to hear oh, the music. God. Turn that off. Oh, there it is. Puppetry, puppetry of, of the, the penis. penis. Oh, it has a Wikipedia and it has a YouTube. Oh, this is really not my thing. I can We're tell you to right like... now, it's not my thing. They have I tricks. I want to see some images. They have a Come trick on. called the flying squirrel, the weed snipper. The fruit bat, the snail. Okay, if this ever came out, Jamie, like, Mm. I would go see this. Are you fucking kidding me right now? I would buy us tickets. Stephanie would never go in the She would never. Oh, I'm looking at a picture right now of a man making a hamburger out of his penis. Wait, where are you? I just Googled it and went to images. And then it tells you how to do it. There's one called the hamburger. Oh, ooh, God, that looks painful. Place the testicles on your fingertips. Oh, those roll, are balls. Roll the penis between the testicles. Turn on a 90 degree anal angle. Squeeze the testicles and hold like a hamburger. Why would you do that to yourself? I dare you to text one of these like diagrams to <laughs> producer Dub I'm and be to. like, I think it'd be really hot if you could do I'm not going to tell him it would be hot. He knows I would lie. That's a lie. <laughs> oh, there's a wristwatch. Okay, the wristwatch. Do it. Take the head of your penis in your right hand, place it inside the left wrist, roll the, <laughs> the wrist Loch toward your monster. body. Are you fucking kidding me? The, the bulldog? No. No. Oh, These are really... Um, this is graphic. This guy's yes, it is. This is like all stretched out. 
I would think that only grow oh, showers could do this. I don't see growers being able to do any of this. This is a very specific niche for the showers because is nobody it normal for men to be this close to each other, like pulling on their penises. And stuff? I got to like... tell you, I'm going to I'm going to pass and say no. But I but I don't know. I would say mm-hmm. that if my husband says this, so I found a really cool hobby, uh, me and the guys are doing this new thing called penis origami. We're doing it down at the community center. Really exciting stuff. Uh, here's the booklet. And there's going to be a show in Reno in November. <laughs> I'll be like, um, well, I don't really know how to respond to any of the things that you just said to me. These men have to be single. There is no way that they have lovers or married partners. Well, this is Australia. We don't know how it goes there. <laughs> I mean, it's a different country. That is true. They might have different standards than, than, <laughs> than you. It is amazing to me what the human being will do for entertainment. Anything we can do to our bodies and do it, we will. That's pretty much how – that's that's the in a nutshell. Uh. Well, congratulations, you showers. You you have found a new talent that no one knew was there. <laughs> this guy shaved his legs first. Jesus. Is this a class? A Paula, I'm t- <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine? Oh God! Hold on, I'm seeing this. Like I'm seeing this. Like there's a man in a circle. And all- <gasps> no. <laughs> okay, check your Discord. What? Hello. What? What? Why? Why would you do this? And why Atmosphere are they- during the puppetry of penis open casting <laughs> at the Green Room Theater. Open casting. What's happening? Uh- oh, they're all doing the hamburger. <laughs> oh geez, is that like the 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 minimum the bare minimum you have to be able to do the the hamburger? Well, the guy in the fedora has it down. That looks like a big Mac. <laughs> I think that's. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> okay, so wow. <laughs> if you look at number eighty six, it okay. looks like he's got a turtle head poking out of his butt, and his legs are crossed. So I can only imagine what he's doing. <laughs> I- do you see that one on the bottom left? Oh my god! Like why? There's a lot of butts in this picture. I'm. I don't need to see this. It's like looking at a herd of goats, Paula. <laughs> I just oh, the poor lady. She's. Got, do you see her? The guy's <laughs> dropped trow, and she's sitting there with the camera. And she's looking at the camera, like, oh my god. <laughs> I, I don't. Uh, she's like, I, it's above the a... guy who's wearing capes with nothing. Oh else. god, those capes. <laughs> It's odd. I don't know. All of these guys just look like they're urinating. They're just really happy with themselves. So we, we got the understanding of growers versus showers. Yes, yeah, so I think we did. And I have never seen a shower and I now want to. But I think if I just go to puppetry of the penis, I think I'm going to see all my all my fill. So I should see if they're coming to town. <laughs> <laughs> coming, coming to town. Yeah, literally. And for our big finish. I wonder if you get kicked out of the troop if you get erect. I bet they're like, no, this is not what this is about. <laughs> we have we have very stiff policies around here. <laughs> we are very firm about this. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So producer Dub's daughter is pregnant and she is in the final stages of her pregnancy. And we have not seen her because of the um, pandemic in a little over a year. We were supposed to go in like March and of course immediately couldn't. And so we really wanted to see her before she had the baby, which is in like early December. So we quarantined for two weeks and then we got on a plane and went to Arizona. And I had heard that once you leave California, it feels very different outside because we're, we're so rigorous here. And so when we got to the airport in Sacramento, it was, you know, moderate i mean it was still fairly crowded but you know everybody's wearing masks everyone's kind of keeping the to themselves you know stuff like there's a couple restaurants and bars open but nothing significant and so Mm -hmm. got on the plane southwest is not having anybody sit in the middle seats which is really nice and so Mm -hmm. uh me and daryl and our two daughters went and so the four of us got to phoenix and it was it was about the same as about as as people Except that a lot weren't wearing masks and it, they were filthy. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was filthy, filthy. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was shocked. I was shocked. There is like sanitation stations and all of that stuff, but mm-hmm. <laughs> I was just really surprised 
how different it was. Well, what's the risk there right now in Arizona? Uh, high. Oh, so they're high. not like done? No, 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 no. But, you know, we wore masks the whole time and washed our hands a bunch and whatever. So, I mean, we were doing the very best. And so when um, we rented a house because it's actually cheaper than a hotel. Mm -hmm. So uh, now when we were going, we rented a house that had a pool because Natalie doesn't have a pool at her house in Arizona. And, you know, it was supposed to be like 95 degrees there. And so Mm -hmm. we thought, oh, how fun. We'll go swimming. We'll, We'll be outside. There's a fire pit at this place. It'll be so fun. We get there. It is 65 degrees and windy. Oh, it was so cold the whole time we were there. We couldn't well, swim. It's the, it is, it's the desert. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, the desert gets cold. Oh, I know. I, absolutely. But of course, the day we left, it was 90. So it, yeah. we had this weird little cold. Well, when it was super windy here, it was really yeah. dusty there as well. And so, and there were fires breaking out and stuff. And so we yeah. couldn't do anything. So that was so the visit was great. We had to wear masks the whole time she was visiting. But it was so cute because I, you know, our, my relationship with Natalie is not like a mother daughter. You know, I'm her stepmom. I was the evil step monster for years. So, you know, mm-hmm. we're on good te- we're on good terms now because she's an adult and living life. But it's just it, it, we're friendly and we're friends more than anything. Yeah. So anyway, well, I mean, she's she is almost 26, right? She's yes, I believe she's twenty six. I mean, I mean, how how much of a child can she be at this point? So. Exactly, but you know, first of all, you and I know exactly how childhood can affect everything. But mm. she's she's starting to recognize that I'm not this monster that she once believed to, I was to be. So, with that being said, I was super shocked. We landed and got to the rental at like eight thirty. She was there like fifteen minutes later because it, the house is only like five minutes from her house. And she refused to leave. She stayed till midnight and then came back at like 9 a.m. the next day and didn't leave again Aww. until 10 o'clock that night. And then came back our last day when we were leaving and stayed with us and was late for work. I mean, how sweet. She missed you guys. A- unless she was sleeping, she was at our house. It was amazing. It was an amazing visit. We had a she great time. The, exhausted, the, poor thing. She was exhausted. And da- uh, Daryl kept going, honey, if you want to like go home, it's fine. She's like, no, 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 I'm fine. And, she, you know, so we fed her. Well, you we, should have just offered her a little room to sleep. We did. To stay. We had a room for her. And she's like, no, I'm fine. She did not want to sleep. She didn't want to miss a minute of the visit. It was so sweet. And so we fed her. <laughs> she will not eat a vegetable to save her life. Nothing is Why? Changed. She just... She'll had she had salad, which was good. But maybe anyway. it makes her nauseous. Who knows? Uh, I don't know. Her doctor's like, you know, you should probably cut back on the sugar and carbs and eat more vegetables. She's like, nope, no, I won't. Has she had the gestational diabetes test yet? Oh yeah, she's she's oh, okay. super healthy. And by the way, she looks amazing. But I'm putting it here right now. She's not making it to December thirteenth. It is not. Is she happening. low? She's lower, and she puffed out. I mean, she looks eight months pregnant. She doesn't have the look like I need to get this out of my body yet, but she definitely has the look like I am round in the corner. I am almost home. So I'll be shocked. Is she if getting she may- jabbed in the ribs or anything like that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We got to feel the baby. And I, and I was I put my hand on her tummy and I'm like, hi, baby. We love you so much. And the baby started <laughs> to move around. And I was like, oh, my God, I can't wait. I'm so excited. For I her. think she's having a boy. We all think she's having a boy. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just been too easy. <laughs> I know. Boys I are know. Easy. And I told her that. I go, you are sailing through this pregnancy. And she's like, I know, right? And I'm like, well, I hope that's indicative of your birth, too. And she's like, I'm terrified. I'm like, oh, you'll be fine. I'm like, you know what? This is what's great about having a baby in a hospital. Your job is one job. You don't have to think about anything else. All you have to do is push. The doctors and the nurses and your husband and everybody else does all the work. All you have to do is is push real hard. You don't have to worry about anything else. And they take care of everything for you. I go, but if they ask you if you want to look, if they give you the mirror option, I would decline. But that's my opinion. <laughs> like you can do whatever She's you not going to try and do the no drug thing, is she? Oh, fuck no. She's like, oh, no, I'm getting everything. I'm giving it. I'm getting anything they tell me I can have. Good. So that's that. It was a great visit. And I'm glad we did it. And then, you know, pretty soon, Daryl will be a grandpa. With that being said, do we have any ugly and awkward moments of the week? I do. I I have one. I have a significant one as well. So let's do some ugly and awkward moments. (laughs) 
as you know, I'm a single lady. Yes. And uh, sometimes, uh, as a single woman, I need to satisfy my sexual <laughs> urges. Sure. Sometimes. It doesn't matter if you're single. Trust me. I, I'll polish myself off if I have to. So, like, sometimes if it's, like, right before I'm about to go to sleep, I do take a sleep aid. Yes. And there are times where it's just, like... I struggle for material or I just like, I don't know what happens. The vault is empty, people. I don't know what it is. It's like, or I just keep changing scenarios or I'm just like, nothing's working. And then I'm just like, I try and go to the old, like the, 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 you know, the the usuals. And I'm just like, nothing's just working. And so I hate that. I don't know what happens because usually after I fall asleep, because I have a sleep aid, I don't really remember because my sleep aid has an amnesia effect. So after I fall asleep, I don't usually remember a lot after I've taken it. Mm-hmm. And so sometimes if I can't, I'll just turn it off and I'm like, I'm practically passing out. Yeah. What I'll do is, is I'll just put it back in the nightstand and then, you know, go to sleep. Well, the next morning, um, <laughs> I already, I, the I already doorbell envisioned. rang or something like that. And I, <laughs> I was sat up and I'm like, Oh God. So I went to get up and grab my nightgown and I started walking <laughs> and lo and behold, something falls on the floor. It's the, end of my vibrator with like the handle and the bullet is still in my panties (laughs) (laughs) oh my god and i was just like oh my god and i was just like it was so embarrassing no one saw but i I was embarrassed by myself because i was just like what the fuck am i doing i'm like what is this and then i was thinking like did i literally do this and the batteries just died (laughs) that's what i'm wondering with this thing did so it I just took it out and then I just turned it on. Like, went, I'm like, well, I turned it on. I was like, Zzz. I'm like, well, at least I had the common sense to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, I got to burn my clit off. <laughs> you know? Oh my God. So I took it okay. out and I just threw it in my nightstand top. And I'm like, God damn it. That's one of those things so- where you look at yourself in the mirror. You're like, I got to get my life, my life together. <laughs> <laughs> I kinda, I'm like, I got to get myself together. <laughs> I really got to get my shit together. But I mean, do you know how embarrassing <laughs> that would have been if like you had a person and you like, no! you hopped out of bed and they saw you like that and they'd be like, what? the hell what is like, this don't look at me turn around what is that turn around Nothing. we will look never away see this again just look like, away never have sex with you again god that's all so right funny. i won't talk about we're not talking what are you talking about nothing <laughs> <laughs> just 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 turn around and just look away and just shut up shut up shut up shut up we're not talking about it ever <laughs> nothing no there's something to talk about don't leave the door <laughs> i know horrible that's really awkward oh god it was so embarrassing Ugh. like i i just felt like frozen in time and like someone took a snapshot of me and i was just like <laughs> like that moment where you like yeah. you wake up in the like you're having the dream and you're arguing with someone the next thing you know you're topless and everyone's like laughing at you that's yeah. how i felt oh my goodness that's really funny okay so mine is really awkward as well so we're in arizona we arrive and of course Malia is starving <laughs> you know so we're like <laughs> okay. fine we'll we'll stop somewhere you know we have no idea where anything is but we'll pull out google maps and find any fast food restaurant and so we find jack in the box so we get in line at jack in the box we all order something to eat we go to the house and we start i had a, a burger and fries and it's like you know everything's fine we go to bed and it's probably like four in the morning and i wake oh my up god and I was think? like, uh, and I was like, I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. And so <laughs> I don't know this, how this room, the room is really odd. The master bedroom is first of all, humongous. And so to get from the bed to the bathroom is not a straight shot because the bathroom has no door. At, there's like a water closet in it, but the bathroom's kind of open, which I hate by the uh-huh. way. Yeah. I hate that So too. it's pitch black and my eyes are not adjusting quickly and so i'm walking and i'm i'm like okay i gotta get out of bed now i can't wait i can feel it and so <laughs> i mean i'm walking and i have my hands in front of me and i can't see because i couldn't even turn on a light if i wanted to because i have no idea where the switches are yet so i'm i ran into the armoire completely naked ran into the armoire <laughs> and the doors fly open and i'm like Okay, and luckily Daryl's not awake yet because I don't want to include him in this whatsoever. No, because they're always like, well, "Are you okay? Do you need help?" I'm like, "No, just leave you me, me to, I have Do you want me to get the phone? Yeah, can I get the light for you? So, and I'm like, "No," and so I'm I end up in the bathroom. I'm like, "Okay, there's the shower," and I'm like, "Okay, so the the, the bathroom is somewhere <laughs> over here on the this side." 
So I'm Don't feeling feel like along. you're on Blue's Clues. Okay, oh, we have the God. chair. So I'm feeling a Exactly. Look, a clue. And I ended up in the closet, which was a walk-in closet. And I'm like, well, no. Shit in the closet. <laughs> I'm like, no, this is not the bathroom. This is a gun safe. This is not the door. Oh, so God. Oh, tr- that's Arizona for you. Yes, it is. Exactly. <laughs> Humongous gun safe. So I walk out. I'm like, all right. And, and I almost said this out loud. I'm like, I need to get into the toilet immediately. I have diarrhea. <laughs> so I'm like, if, I thought if I said it out loud, maybe I would help myself. So I find the door, but the door is hung opposite. So all I feel are door jams. I'm like, where's the door? So I find the door. I open it up. But I get in. Paula, I mean, I barely made it to the toilet <laughs> like you sat down and it's all <laughs> oh god it was like lava and i was like oh my god and so here's the problem though is that i am so like private and there is very little protection from me was there like at least a freaking fan or something yes which i turned on just for this, for the noise factor. Oh God! And it's a water closet, so there's no sink or anything. Nothing. Like that. You can uh, turn on or nothing. And so get I'm your like, phone and like you know turn on a, a song or something. <laughs> At four in the morning. <laughs> oh, babe, Maria. <laughs> it's like, oh God! I was like, oh, it's just you need a baker. Don't worry. So. Oh. Caught in the rapture of you. Yeah, exactly. Sweet, sweet love and love. <laughs> so, anyway. I'm giving you the best that I got. So I'm just sitting in there, just draining. And I was like, oh, this is horrible. And I hate that there's no no door at all. Oh, because the I mean, scent is going to like go into the bedroom. <laughs> Like I a mean, freaking, you well, know, I mean, it's like, ghost. Listen, I don't know about you, but if I have diarrhea like that, I either shower or I just deal, you know, I do some other kind of cleanup work. I don't just get I back burn in the paper, bed. just like I'll go around and I'll light like paper towels and like <laughs> try and like create, you know, what is that carbon or charcoal yeah, or something yes. like to try to, to eat eliminate the, the odor. I know. Well, it's not even that. Victor it's will be that- like, "What?" Before he'd be like, "What are you doing? Why are you burning paper?" I'm like, "Yes." <laughs> I'm like, it "Just it refreshes the air." I know. And so I finally, finally, I, I'm like, "Okay, the, I'm definitely not going to have any more diarrhea. I'm done." So I'm like, "Now is the process of I can't go straight back to bed. That's gross. So I need to like <laughs> wash my hands and clean up a little bit." So the problem is, is there's no door, and so. Standing, you know, if I wanted, I, even if I wanted to shower, Daryl could see me showering so and washing did, my. Did you butt. like go in the kitchen and wash your hands? Or? Well, I mean, I, what if? I mean, I need to wash my bottom. I mean, I, I have to do something. <laughs> oh, and they didn't have a bidet. It. No, no, no. And so I'm like, all right. So I mean, it was horrible. So I mean, somehow I hid myself in the closet and did what I had to do, and then you know threw the washcloth away or whatever I decided to do. And I come out and Daryl, of course, at this point is now wide awake with his glasses on looking at the phone because I've made such a, a racket trying to just What's freaking he doing on diarrhea. The phone? What does he have a GPS chip on you? And he's just like, <laughs> no, where no. is Jamie? <laughs> he was just awake. And so I come out and he's like, yeah, I had a hard time finding the bathroom too. It, it's not easy. I almost ran into that armoire as well. I'm like, oh, so you could see everything I was doing. He's like, well, yeah. <laughs> He saw me at like acting like Helen Keller the whole time. <laughs> so did he see you washing your butt? No. <laughs> no, I don't think so. If he did, he would say. he'd be like, "Your ass clean? Are you all right?" <laughs> Honestly, if he did, I'm sure he would not have had sex with me that night. <laughs> Well, actually, if he was decent, he would have just kept pretending like he was sleeping. Well, one would help, but no. Jeez. <laughs> oh, my God. I was so Do you need some baby wipes or uh, you want me to oh, run out to Jesus. like Walgreens and see if they've got those like, you know, <gasps> toilet paper wipes or something? <laughs> you need awful. some uh, desitin? <laughs> mm. You know what, though? He's going he's gonna to get his. He gets a colonoscopy this week, so. Ooh. Oh, I'll tell you all about it. Yeah. Next week. I'll you know, you nothing it. happens with those. No. I mean, and no. even when they tell you, you know, you have to stay there for like an hour and fart. And it's just like, 
I didn't have anything. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't, don't know I what don't the know big deal like was. Is like everyone's just like they show these videos of these guys like totally ripping them. I'm like, I think that's just an excuse. Oh, totally. You know, guys can fart on command and absolutely I'm not like that. It's <laughs> just, true. I was trying and I'm just like, nothing's coming out. And it's I'm like, like I, I don't know if do? this is just sheer, you know, will to like, <laughs> I like, can't. I just, you know, my body is forbidding me from doing this in a public place. Pretty much. Or, you know, because I mean, you're basically in rows just, you know, separated by a sheet. It, and, it's not you know, possible. they want, it's like fart central. And I'm just like, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I don't, I don't care if I've got like, you know, I don't know, a 265 gauge tire in my stomach <laughs> i'm not expelling anything in here yeah, i'll do it in the I'll car thank bloated you loaded and fly away right? home i'm not doing it seriously yeah so that was my awkward moment and you know i hate it and you're right daryl's like pablo i get no space sometimes and so it's like i can't even be you know i can't even do anything that i and he doesn't care but so it's me that cares of course but i'm just yeah. like god can you can you leave the room anything i don't know yeah, I, I don't. You guys have been together for so freaking long. I just don't even know why it even bothers you. It, I know you would think, but you know I'm bizarre. And you know we got home from the trip, and you know everybody kind of went to their separate rooms to unpack and do whatever. And I immediately like showered and got rid of the clothes and stuff from the airplane. My hair smelled like airplane. It was gross. And um, so I was just sitting on the bed and I was looking at something. And he goes, "Have we all? Are we all already retrieving to our caves?" I'm like, "Absolutely." Because we have to deplane and de, you know, decompress from that that whirlwind trip. God, that's so funny because, like, when I get home, yeah, I'll immediately get out of the clothes I was mm -hmm. in. But, like, my suitcase will sit there on the floor for, like, a week. Because <laughs> I'll just, like, I hate unpacking. But I'm, like, I hate putting clothes away, too. Like, my clothes will Ugh. sit folded in a basket for, like, a month. And I'll just we, pick through yeah. there. <laughs> we have three folded clothes baskets in our laundry room right now. They're folded, yeah. but they're just sitting in there. Everybody just goes in just, there and it's like our own personal dressing room now. I know. I just hate folding hate clothes. It. And I hate putting them away, too. I, there's nothing <clears> hard about <throat> putting too. them away. In fact, I hang more clothes than I actually put in the dresser, which is stupid. I just... Same. I don't, I don't like putting clothes away. It just Same. It bothers me. <laughs> so. The laundry situation sucks. I hate it. You and then, yeah, like I said, I hate unpacking. I don't mind packing, but I hate unpacking. I just yeah, I I unpack right away. I just kind of sit there at my look at my suitcase and just like poke <laughs> it with a stick and I'm like, eh. you know. Well, and then I'm just like, oh, I'm like, where's my toothbrush? I'm like, oh, exactly, it's a suitcase. Yeah, I just so, like, oh, you're like so Aww. put off by it. I'm like, I have to go in there. And Do I need to brush, really brush my, my teeth? teeth? Yeah. <laughs> It's I know. I'm like, do I have to brush my teeth today? Do I really need to do that? <laughs> yeah, maybe I can wait till tomorrow. Uh, anyway, so uh, <laughs> I, there's I, I posted on Daryl's um, Facebook page. You'll have to look at it. But they have these things called boob pillows now. And I told him that I, I died. That. I said, when I die, I'm gonna have my sisters buy you one so he'll have comfort. You're gonna have to get custom ones though. They can't just be yeah. any ordinary boobs. Well, that's fine. I'll do that. I can. You're that's gonna have to. You're gonna do. have to get like a. We're going to have to get like a cast mold of your boobs and then like yeah. <clears throat> have like custom gelatin, you yes. know, skin. That'd mm -hmm. be weird. I'm not doing that for you. <laughs> You're going to have to get that done. Why don't I just. Uh, like, why what am I going to do? Put it in a box and be like, here, we've got a present for you. This is my sister's <laughs> Will you throw dress. it on the bed and just throw it at him and just say, here you go. I no. mean, we might as well just get like a doll made of Ew. you. Oh, please don't. Can let you that cast happen. mold a vagina? Yes, porn stars do how? it all the time. I don't. I okay. Unfortunately, I have seen how, how this is that? done. I've seen what? how this is done. Like they actually do the vaginal canal. They spread their legs and they, you know, some creepy guy pours a bunch of silicone on there, and then they wait but until inside it sets. too. Kind of. But just mostly just the folds of everything. I mean, what do they do? Like a speculum and like, you know. No, no, no. They don't like do a that. Tampon? No, they don't do that. I think they put a tampon in to prevent the silicone from getting into oh. their vagina. And then okay, they so do it. Okay, so it's just it. an exterior thing. Yes. And then they construct silicone vaginas and then they market them as, you know, hey, this is, you know, foxy whatever's vagina and you can have it for thirty nine ninety five and. This is exactly what it looks like. Hey, really? And That's all my vagina is worth is thirty nine ninety five. Big fans probably are very aware of what her vagina looks like, and so they buy them. It's weird. Mm. We're, we, I, I mean, you know, 
Whatever. If you're a famous porn star, do you know how much money you could make just by offering like an hour of your services? That's a prostitute. <laughs> I know, but like like the richest men in the world, you could be like, I'll have sex with you for an hour oh. and you could pay me like $100,000. I don't like, know. Like that would, would make way more money. You know, it's such a gray area. Oh, you're having area. sex with somebody else. Why not? I know. It's such a gray area, that whole adult film world. Just so. have a bodyguard standing there watching you. So make sure they don't do anything weird. I mean, um, you've already taken it in like basically every orifice of your body. Depending on who you are. That's true. I don't know. Oh, I please. mean, please don't act like porn stars have morals. Be like, well, I refuse <laughs> to take it. I refuse to I'm take not, it. I'm not. I'm not. They're just sex is their business and they don't have a problem with it. So that's all. So if they don't have a problem with it, they shouldn't have a problem with it doing it for, you know, maybe they do. I mean, a large sum of money. Maybe they do. I have no idea. That's the I other thing, no too. Is like, I've seen porn stars married to each other and like their home life is completely different. And I'm just well, like, yeah. oh, how do you differentiate sex at home versus sex at work? I have heard interviews like that and they say, oh, it's just, it's just more it's just there's intimacy versus work, which is there's no intimacy. And I was like, oh, I can, I guess, I guess so. so. I mean, you, you go to work and you watch your husband fuck someone else while you're getting fucked by someone else. And mm-hmm. then you go home and then you fuck each other. It's just like, I know. It's a very uh-huh. unusual world. Well, it'd have to be. Yeah, I would there's a lot so. of compartmentalizing, is my guess, and probably a lot of childhood trauma. <laughs> in addition, well, I don't imagine those marriages last too long. I don't know. Yeah, I have. You no look idea. like you were enjoying it earlier. That's my job. <laughs> I like, know what that oh, face really? looks like. <laughs> Let's ask Cindy. Let's see what Cindy has to say. You came awfully fast today when you were <laughs> fucking ginger. <laughs> Sure seemed like that fluffer was having a good time with you. Right. And we had sex this morning. Why did you come so fast? Do you like her tits? What's going on? (laughs) No more sex with Lindsay. Yeah. Jeez. That would be a bizarre world. Very bizarre world. is off the table. (laughs) All right. Well, thanks everybody for joining us today. Uh, Please visit our website, uglytruth.com. Uh, Facebook will be on the Twit and uh, we'll be rolling out that website that we've been talking about so you can look at our merchandise, our merch. Yes, the merch. I guess is what it's called. Ugly She's swag. like, Mom, they have merch. I'm like, merch? I'm like, what's merch? She's like, you know, stuff they saw. I'm like, you mean merchandise? And she's yes, like, it's called it's merch. merch. I'm like, yes. I'm like, okay. Get with the, it's get merch. With the program, old lady. Come Jesus, on, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't call it a, its appropriate name, merch, even though it's merchandise. But swag, whatever. man. It's swag. It's merch. I'm just so out of it, apparently. You are. <laughs> I don't know how I can be out of it by calling it its actual name. But just go whatever. back to listening to your air supply. You know, I'm happy doing that. I, I know. I, you know, if they come on concert, I will buy tickets and we will take mother. I know. Actually, I don't know, though, because if that's what she listened to when her and dad broke up, I don't want to, you know... I think when her actually when she was uh, she was drowning her sorrows in Charlie Rich. If I'm if I can Rich really yes from what What I can can recall, I think he's dead. I just remember a lot of Air Supply. Mm -hmm. Uh, I remember I remember a lot of Urban Cowboy. Urban Cowboy, really? A lot of Willie Nelson, a lot of Waylon, a lot of Mickey Gilly, uh, Barbra Streisand. Yeah, that's where I got my love for Barbra Streisand. Oh, for sure, Cher. Actually, I like Cher. I don't know. Mom like doesn't. Mom didn't like Cher as much as I did. But well, I think yeah. Dad liked Sunny and Cher. I think he liked Sunny for some reason. <laughs> he probably wanted to look like Sunny for Ew. some reason. Sunny no, Bono. I think he was probably envious of his mustache. And Dad was not a big facial hair person. Yeah. So, could, well, he wasn't a big hair person because he just didn't have the uh, <laughs> the ability. I guess. I know you haven't seen the Money Hot Rod or the movie Hot Rod, but. <clears throat> There's a not. scene with Andy Samberg and he's fighting his stepdad and he's wearing <laughs> Andy Samberg's wearing a fake mustache mm-hmm. and his stepdad says he's all, you know, real men grow their mustaches. And Andy Samberg's like, you know, I have a hormone disorder. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Samberg's really funny. That movie's hilarious. Olivia, yeah. we bought her. She wanted a giant poster, a, a movie poster of the movie Hot Rod. So we got oh, it Oh, God. Her. How cute. But, so it's hanging up in a room now. That's cute. But anyways. All right. So, yes. Please visit this the uh, our site so you can see the merchandise site and buy yourself something cute or uh, very manly. Uh, it's green and blue. It says awkward on it, uh, which There's is super cool. There's other ones. Cool. 
Yeah, there's other things. Uh, so check it out. <laughs> I think that's about it. So thanks for being with us all these 500 episodes, and we will see you next time. Bye.